Hey guys, it's uh, thank you for tuning in because often here. Uh, uh, where to start? So, the main purpose of this video is about the Godzilla vs. Kong toys. Um, uh, yes, obviously, yeah, I'm a, I am aware of the uh, delay. Very upsetting. Also, no, no trail yet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, um, I guess I'll some be making videos, I guess, but... Uh, things have been cleared up, things have been uh, cleared up here about the, uh, the, uh, pandemic. Cases here are still rising a bit, so our governor extended us into phase three still until the end of the month, so hopefully September will be in phase four of reopening. Uh, but other than that, I've gone back to my usual regular routine going out, going out to my favorite stores and stuff, so that's good anyway. Oh yeah, my first Halloween shirt. This, this was at Walmart. Based on the first movie from uh, 1978. Anyway, now to the purpose of the video. So, uh, Walmart and Playmates. Playmates is a company that makes toys. Uh, uh, Walmart and Playmates did some sort of deal. And that's why they're getting the goods over to Kong Toys now. Well, some of them, not all of them. So, anyways, uh, so my Walmarts. Or, uh, my local ones here, uh, uh, they're, they just started getting the toys in this week for Godzilla vs. Kong. And as you can see right here, here's Godzilla with the heat right. So far, I have two figures. Kong with the battle axe. And a lot of fans have been speculating what this is. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I can tell it's a bone because of this. I can tell it's a bone. And uh, there's been a lot of speculation that this is one of Godzilla's, that this is a uh, one of uh, Godzilla's spikes. I mean, it looks like it. it's blue, so it's got to be. So, so that'll be interesting to see. And uh, so on. Uh, so Kong and Godzilla. I don't think I need to show the boxes because we all know what it because we all know what it looks like, and uh, um, and apparently there's a spoiler in the back, which I'm not which I'm not gonna show up, even though it's been posted a bunch of times. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll say it. Is this snake dragon type creature named Warpad? It was named something else before. I never could I never I can never really pronounce it. It was a uh, Oziki something like that. I don't know, but now it's per but now they changed. But now, for some reason, the name was changed to a uh, to a uh, warpat. So anyway, yeah. So right now, uh, uh, so right now, the uh, the Godzilla vs Kong toys that are out right now, it's both eleven inch Godzilla and Kong, um, two different six inch Godzillas so far, and uh, one of them is the one that I have right now, Heat Ray, or uh, Atomic Breath, but they're calling it Heat Ray. And there's another one that's more of a regular standard Godzilla. Um, spikes are still lighting up though, but not like that. These are actually these are translucent. Um, uh, the other one is a regular one. Same thing as the 11 inch, but smaller, and it comes with uh, radio tower. So far for Kong, we only, we only have uh, this one that comes with the battle axe, and we have the 11 inch one. There's another one where his mouth, yeah, this one has the mouth open. There's another one that has his mouth closed with the jet. That one's not released, and that one's not released yet. And obviously the Warbat's not released yet. So, so far we have these two with the other, with the other Beer Kong and the other two Godzillas. Along with, along with, uh, from Skull Island, Skullcrawler. So those are the toys released right now. Many other toys will be released later, including Mechagodzilla. Yeah, he's in the movie. So, anyway, on to the review. And I haven't done a review in a 
long time since two years ago. So anyway, so uh, let's get good. let's get Kong out of the way. So uh, um, yeah, very nice kids toy, absolutely. And all the stations come with bow damage. Nice detail there. Get a little brighter. Actually, hold on, I'm actually this. Hold on. There we go. There we go, that's better. I don't know why I didn't do that already. Anyways, I'll focus in there. Yeah, nice. They, these are really good for kids' toys. Absolutely. When I heard and I heard about what's going on with NECA, they lost the license to Godzilla. And Playmates right now has strong license for Kong, for, for Godzilla vs. Kong. And that's why NECA is not doing it. So, anyways. So, uh, yeah, these are really good for kids' toys. I really enjoy them. Yeah, when I first saw when I first saw some of them, I was like, "Cool," you know. But I wasn't so sure about it. But I still love them. Look at me. But I still love them. Oh, there's the bow damage. But when I saw this guy coming, I was more excited for him than the other two guys I was. I still obviously got all of them, but this was one of the ones I was. This is was the one I was the most excited for. So, uh, so yeah, I already went over the head. So, uh, you know, all right, hold on to this. In and out. All right. Yeah, it's a very, like, a smooth plastic rubber type material. Which is nice. Nice and good for the kids. Him with the battle axe now. <laughs> I'll put the belt, I'll put his, uh, his, uh, his skin back on. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's, it's mostly hard to get this on, but taking it off it's easy as pie. Yeah, everything is well done on this figure. Very nice for a kid's toy. I know that a lot of fans are upset about this, but me, I am, am not, but... You know, it, it, come on, everyone, every guy's all, if you're, if you're a big Godzilla fan like me, and you're a hardcore fan for all the toys, obviously you don't want to get them, unless you want, unless you want to stick with the, uh, basic big collectors like NECA and, 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 and Monster Arts and, and, uh, and, uh, X Plus and all that shit, but if you're a really, really big one, like most of, like most of you guys are and me, yeah, pick these guys up too. Alrighty, now on to the King of the Monsters. There's the there's the breath. Translucent, just like the spikes. Well, these ones at least. The other ones are in the, these ones are just more plastic, but these ones are translucent.
little things. See this? They don't go in and out of these. And, uh, the, the feet actually do move, but you gotta be careful. They do rotate, but you gotta be careful because I've already, uh, I've already broken this. Uh, if you guys can say that, yeah, I've already, I've already broken, broken this. You want to be careful when you're moving, uh, moving the feet, but it's a kid's toy, so it's obviously going to happen. I mean, come on, it's not like delicate plastic, you know, it's, it's a, so. Both, both arms do that. Yeah, both Godzilla and Kong are, are pretty much the same plastic material. Yeah, they both have that uh, that rubbery, bendable texture. And uh, uh, the, uh, the tail. And this is actually an assembly. It's very easy to put on, actually. It's actually easier than NECA. Way easier. And it has to be, you know, make sense because this is a kid's toy. And this is also a... Uh, a bendable plastic rubber. Better angle. Let's try this. And uh, th I'm actually really impressed with this. Because, uh, with the with the. With the mouth, though. So this kind of toy, this one, this one actually has the open and closed jaw. And this is actually one of the first 16 kids toys to include this. For a basic kids toy for Godzilla, this is one of the first ones to have that. If you know what I mean. Head rotates a little bit. And that's all the articulation, and that's all the, the uh, articulation that he has. Yeah, but very nice, well done. And uh, here's the bell damage. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this goes in the movie. And his bell damage is actually a little bit easier to put back on than Kong's. Once you get hang of it. His is actually easier. It didn't take me that long. And here he is with the breath. If we already saw. Yeah, so there you go. Subscribe and all that stuff. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy your Godzilla vs. Kong toys that we have so, that what we have so far. And I'll be picking up the others. Uh, Stone or you know, later in the year and really soon. So, uh, yeah. May 21st next year is when the two kings stomp in the theater again. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.